What's going on YouTube? It's your boy DeAndre Hood here and I'm back with another vlog. Today's vlog is going to be about how I got my first videography job with less than two months experience. Let's get to it. What's going on YouTube? Yeah, change of scenery. I did not like the lighting in the first option it was this. So back to what I was saying. So recently, not even two months ago, I bought a camera from one of my sergeants overseas and I just started playing around with the camera, started digging deep into it. I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos. So the first video that I ended up making and posting online was this tired workout video. The link will be down in the description below. A lot of people actually thought it was pretty cool. I was getting likes and comments on my Instagram and my Facebook. The crazy thing was people didn't know that I was the one that actually edited that workout. They just thought I'd probably have somebody shoot it for me and edit it, but no, that was all me. I ended up editing my own workout. So after that video, a couple of days later, I had the chance to go to Kuwait City with my unit. And um, I was like, hey man, I should take my camera and get some more footage. And I ended up getting a lot of footage of uh, us shopping, eating, smoking hookah. Just pretty much ended up getting a lot of footage and I ended up making a video out of it. That video is also down in the description. You should go check it out if you haven't seen it already. So after I finished this video, of course, I showed everybody in my unit. I showed a lot of random people that was at the MWR at the USO. I even showed my classmates, my teacher, and the crazy thing was the girl sitting next to me in class, she saw the video, she loved it, and she actually knew somebody that needed a video done for their website. So as soon as she told me that I got the guy's contact information, I hit him up quick, fast, and in a hurry. So I met the guy, and I wanna say about three days later, we ended up shooting the video. I went back to the drawing board, I got it all done for him, I edited it, I had sent it to them and they loved the video, man. So basically the type of video that they wanted was just to have their subject doing pull-ups, push-ups, a medicine ball throw. They wanted those kind of movements just showing in the background of their website with no music and it's pretty much what I came up with. The craziest part was I found out that his wife actually owned a production company and she thought I had like years of experience but like I said, I only had two months of experience. So pretty much, man, I just jumped on an opportunity and so many doors have opened up for me since then. So if you're in the beginning stages of filmmaking and editing like myself and you have a chance to jump on an opportunity like that, my biggest advice to you is jump on the opportunity and don't be afraid. And I also have some other tips if you're maybe trying to get some jobs and maybe trying to get your name out there that I think would work. The first thing I'll say is just get started. If you have a camera, if you don't have a camera, if you just have an iPhone, a nice Android smartphone, just go out there, start shooting, start shooting random stuff. Just shoot anything and then go back to your room and just start editing. Just play around with the camera, get a feel with it, and I promise you that you will get better as you continue to practice with your camera and your editing skills. So after you start playing with the camera and you're starting to get it and you have some nice quality good content, start posting on your Instagram, post on your Facebook. Post little teasers on your Snapchat. Post them on your Twitter. If you have a YouTube channel, post them on your YouTube channel. Get your stuff out there on social media because social media is probably the biggest free promoter that you can have. And there's no, there's nothing better than trying to promote yourself. When you're posting on social media, somebody will see your video and if you have some good content, some good quality, I promise somebody will see it and they will hit you up in the DMs and they're gonna try to get a video from you. When it comes to video editing, you're going to get a bunch of criticism. You're going to get a bunch of different opinions. But the main thing I can say is stay true to yourself and don't change your vision for anybody. Nobody has a vision like you have for yourself. Another thing, show random people. Don't always show your friends and family. Show people that you don't know because those are going to be the ones that's going to tell you the absolute truth. They don't know you. They don't have a reason to lie to you. So ask random people. And last but not least, make sure you network. When you network, you're going to run into a whole bunch of different people and you never know who somebody else might know that might need a video like me. I was in class showing, showing my video around and 
it happened that somebody knew somebody else that needed a video for their website and that's how I got my opportunity in less than two months of experience. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you did like this video, make sure you leave a like and make sure you ring that bell so every time I drop a video, you get notified. Peace.